In this video, we shall talk about the concepts of hot reload, hot restart, and full restart of Flutter. All of these are the different ways we can reload a Flutter app. So, hot reload is a very helpful feature that Flutter provides us. You are going to use it a lot. Let me show you what is a hot reload. So, here is the code of the default counter app, and let us change this text. Now, save the changes by pressing Ctrl S or Command S or by clicking on this button this button is dedicated for hot reload and notice that the text got updated here immediately so this is hot reload hot reload loads the code changes into the virtual machine and rebuilds the widget tree or you can say rebuilds the layout and thus we can see the changes immediately on the layout now let me show you which changes does not get reflected by a hot reload hot reload preserves the state of the app so try changing the state let us try to change the value of this variable count let's initialize it to 10 and now perform hot reload by pressing ctrl s or by pressing this button and nothing has changed here this count should have changed right but it has not changed as hot reload does not reflect the changes made to this app state it does not reflect the changes made inside init state you can give it a try add the init state function and make some changes here and hot reload will not be able to reflect these changes and hot reload also cannot reflect the changes made inside this main function for this type of changes we must perform a hot restart so let us power from a hot restart by pressing on this button and now we can see the changes here right so during development hot reload helps a lot to view the small changes made to the layout immediately but hot reload does not reflect the changes we make to the state the changes we made inside the init state function or inside the main function for such changes we have to perform a hot restart but if you make changes to a specific platform for example android ios web etc then even hot restart won't reflect the changes let me show you an example so here inside this directory android inside this directory app you will find a file named build.gradle this contains different configurations for the android app These are the default values that comes on creating a new project. And now let us change this value. Minimum SDK version. Let us make it 33. This property minimum SDK version specifies the minimum version of Android on which this app will run. 33 corresponds to Android 13. Now this app won't run on devices with Android version below 13. Here, this device on which I am running this app has Android 10. So, this app should not run on this device. Now, first, let us perform hot reload. This app is still running as hot reload cannot reflect these changes. Now, let's perform hot restart. And again, this app is running, so the changes are not yet effective. And now, finally, let us perform a full restart. Stop the app and run it again now here notice this message this app cannot run on this device so you have got the idea right next time if you make any changes and don't see the changes on the app then once check whether the app has been reloaded properly or not 